tiring studio. I still have yet to paint. I am having a hard time. You can see this wall is green and I don't like that either. But right now I am actually filming a story for Instagram to showcase some of the earrings that will be available during this sale that I'm having for Mercata. And by the time this video is posted, I'm pretty sure the sale might still be going on. So go ahead and check out the website if you want to snag anything that is on sale. I just made this pair of earrings that I'm really excited about debuting in the shop. And this is what I made room for in the shop for that sale. Make room for the new things to come. I'm ready to have more dainty pieces like this that incorporate brass. Really happy how these turned out. Ever since finishing out our kitchen area with my dream dining table, I have found I love spending the most time in here during the morning light. And so I wanted to show you just a little snippet of my day, one of my favorite parts of the day. This doesn't happen every day if I'm being completely honest, but when I'm able to get a solid 45 minutes to an hour journaling and being in the word, I really, really cherish those moments, especially when I'm in solitude with no one around me. This is definitely an ideal situation for me, and it's gonna be harder to find this kind of time in the coming season, which I'll tell you more about in my next vlog. But I'm just topping off my tea and I'm going right into journaling, which is one of my favorite ways to not just express my feelings and my honest thoughts to the Lord, which this is a very helpful tool for that, but to really just be quiet before him and hear what he has to say. In my walk, I've found very often, more than I can count, the times that the Lord has met me here right at this place and has either softened my heart about something or someone who I haven't loved very well or most days he just reminds me of who he is and it informs my heart on who I am in him and it's a really sweet and gentle reminder I really want to continue to share more about my faith in my walk with Jesus. So if this is something that you want to hear more about, please let me know. Oh, it's so sweet. Wanna give Denver a huggy? Oh. 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 Tonight's menu is Benny Hanna fried rice. Today, after being bedridden for pretty much the whole day, I decided to get up, get into the kitchen. Alec bought four pounds of plums, so I thought, what could I do with these plums? I made a plum crumble. I was craving it after being in bed all day. I was still feeling pretty awful, but I thought I would make the best out of the day. Alec and Cove had gone to Alec's parents for the day, so it was just me at home. Thank you. 
My allergies are kicking me in the butt. And it's not like a runny nose or anything. It's simply just my head pounding. Sinus pressure, I guess. Cove also had a little bit of allergies coming on, but hers don't seem to be bothering her nearly as much. All right, I need to show you guys. These socks are the best baby toddler socks ever. Hey, you modeling the socks out? I got these off Amazon. They're super thick and just really great quality. And then they have these really cute patterns on them. Coke, come back. Hey, get over here. Anyway, they have different colors in one pack and they are truly the best socks because they're so thick and so cute at the same time. Today has been a drag, unfortunately. Just, I don't know what this feeling is. It feels like I'm getting sick, but I just haven't gotten sick yet. I don't know if I'm coming down with something more serious than allergies, but it just really, really blows. These are the herbs that we've got. They're kind of going crazy. We've got Heiko. We've got thyme and rosemary in one pot. And we have one tiny little basil plant. It's not the typical sweet basil, which I'm still on the hunt for because I feel like those, they go pretty fast even though they're pretty common. And then we've got oregano here, which is seriously crazy. It's, it's growing. I mean, it's already grown at least probably three or four inches since we've planted these. And then we've got some mint. Need help? To be honest, I've been kind of afraid to be outside all day just because of my allergies acting up. But what kind of life is that to live if you can't go outside? And the tulips are dead because I put them in direct sunlight and that is unfortunate. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. Round and round. The people on the bus go. Oh!